basically the three in one extruder um, very very easy to fit um, I did both sides um, it's universal so it'll fit the um, replicator um, 2 and the previous uh, Makabots um, this one seems to be the standard one that, that's of the size fits all um, and I know that Dave's um, done a um, revision on them now um, because the right hand side just something to be wary of um, does have a, um, a spacer um, here that needs to be fitted and there's also a little like a um, oval shaped printed plastic uh, piece that needs to be fitted um, but if you just follow the instructions um, on the PDF um, online uh, you shouldn't have any problems um, fitting it very very easy um, didn't have any problems or issues uh, whatsoever fitting that <coughs> Carl's um, dual um, aluminium carriage um, which is this bit here um, Again, very nicely machined piece piece of kit. Um, things to watch out for, uh, I expect, when fitting. Um, fairly straightforward. When you putting the um, the original uh, factory carriage off, it's, it's like a plastic extrusion um, that sort of clips onto the um, the bearers, um, and you do have to put quite a lot of force onto them. Um, what I found useful is to actually hold the rail and then just use your thumb to click it up so you're not putting too much load on the rest of the system. Um, you do have to put quite a lot of force on it but it will pop off. Um, obviously just use your use common sense really. Um, with the um, aluminium extruder, um, sorry the aluminium carriage, you can see here, I don't know whether this is done it's sort of machined slightly bigger, so the gap for the um, for the for the block, the aluminium block, um, is um, slightly larger than the stock block that's fitted from Macabot. Now, I know Carl set, it sells a a block to fit on here um, for the uh, for an upgrade, um, and I expect that it's machined so it does fit into this this channel. So obviously, when you're um, fitting it, um, just take care to ensure you. Use balance up your gaps parallel otherwise you might get a twist on the block um, which means that when you try on your two colours um, your two extrusion colours they might try them slightly off um, so you know if, if they do if they are trimming off I know you can actually um, sort of calibrate the the, the, the two colours the two extruders and, and make aware but um, when you do um, if you do find that it's way off, try and do it manually. I've done mine manually, where I've just slackened off the two nuts underneath here and uh, repositioned it, and it, it works fine. It works great. <coughs> the other thing to be really, really wary of is when you're doing up your um, the, the little um, grub screws. That, as Carl says, they they fitted there to ensure that the carriage doesn't come off the rails. Yeah. Um, now, if you do these up too tight, they will cause the the um, I don't know whether the they cause the brain to come off parallel on the on the on the right rails. Mm -hmm. So when you when you're doing them, I'd say just do them a little bit at a time, um, and just gently push your carriage up and down to ensure that there's no um, binding. Um, I found that if you it doesn't take much to actually get it to bind. Um, like as you take it up and you feel a little bit of resistance on the grub screw, that's when you want to stop. Uh, or just back off a little bit and carry on, carry on until you get a sort of a, a, a best of both worlds sort of fit. Another thing I did was to ensure that it was held held down was I'd hold the hold the rail and then just push up on the carriage here yeah, and check to see if there's any play in it. Um, and I think there's, there's a little bit of play in it, um, but I know when I do these grub screws up tight, then I, I then it tends to bind, especially down this far end. Um, and the last, as a last check, what I'd do was I'd um, just do it through the jog mode on the on the Makabot and actually do electron, you know, jog actually jog the um, the carriage and just make sure it runs nice and smoothly up and doesn't put too much tension on the um, or pressure on the step motors, as I expect. But you know, I'm, I'm a relative newbie um, with all this, so just bear in mind these are just my my just my experience. 
um, apart from that, um, once it's all up, it, it, it works really, right, really, really well. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I think what I'm really looking forward to doing is actually trying to print nylon, because um, I think that's one of the main benefits of the um, aluminium carriage, um, that with the higher temperatures you need for nylon, um, you shouldn't get um, this distorting too much. Another thing on the extruders that I really like is the this is nice and tight where the, where the pipe goes into the extruder. Um, there's a real issue with the, the maker but once they keep on popping off. Um, a real, you know, one of my pet hates was these pipes used to keep on pack, popping off. Um, filament's very easy to change. What you need to do is just pop your pop an Allen key that's supplied with the, the kit in there. What I do is hold across the, the unit and press in and it just depresses, just deactivates the, um, the drive um, bearing and it just pops right out, same to go back in again. So um, all in all, really, really happy. I've done some prints um, with it. Um, I'll try to find something a little bit more challenging, something my son wanted to print for ages. We printed this without any supports um, and as you can see, it's. Um, it's printed um, really, really well. Um, that's a uh, 0.2 millimeter layer height um, sailfish uh, firmware on the machine, and it was sliced in Simplify um, 3D. So yeah, so all in all, um, really happy with the, the upgrade. Um, expect the next things I need to upgrade really are the arms. Um, uh, people that have getting these arms because um, sometimes they, they tend to warp or droop um, and the build plate um, this is the new build plate from Macabot um, but I know it's um, I know it's not level um, but I'm not going to push the issue because you know it's not, there's not much I can do about it really um, so I'll, I'll upgrade to a glass uh, build plate at some point but at the moment it's working fine so um, if it's not broken I'm not going to fix it um, I've got there's plenty of other stuff I need to address before getting into those sort of rooms. So anyway, thanks for watching.